Hi friends, this series is about your best mind and skin. It's for people who want to build confidence and practice discipline. In this video, I'll be sharing about how to practice good habits and I'll be addressing three common problems that we tend to have and some solutions for those problems. One problem that we tend to have is that we are just too stressed out. You can have good habits if you're always stressed out. So here are some ways that you can relax and de-stress. When we're stressed out, we need to recharge. It's just like if you were driving a car and you're out of gasoline. Are you that type of person who is going to go and fill up your tank when it's like almost almost empty like on the verge of being empty or are you going to fill up your tank when it's just starting to run low and i think it's better to fill up your tank when it's starting to run low so you still have the energy to get to where you need to go take some time to recharge and rest we all need rest god rested if god rested then we need to rest too our creator if he rested on the seventh day then we need to rest if you're feeling stressed out figure out first where it's coming from is it physical stress mental stress emotional stress because if you figure out where that stress is stemming from then you can address the problem for example it's if it's physical stress then you can find ways to relieve that stress maybe like working out is a great way to relieve physical stress taking baths that's not really the best for the environment but that's another way that you can relieve that stress or stretching yoga and if it's something else like maybe if it's emotional stress then maybe you need to take some time to go through your emotions so figure out where your stress is coming from so then you can move forward in addressing how to deal with that stress if you practice the habit of resting and refueling that'll be really great for you in the long run especially when the school year starts to pick up or your work starts to pick up and you start to get really really busy make sure that you have intentional time to yourself to care for yourself Another problem that we have when developing good habits is that we just can't really focus. If you can't focus, then you just don't have that goal set in mind and it's just hard to continue with those habits. A great way to learn how to be more focused is to change up your environment because we respond to the stimulus around us. If there's something going on over here, we're going to respond to it and focus in on that. Something that really helps me is to have a designated workspace for whatever you're doing. For example, I work out at the gym, so I don't work out at my home. My home is a place where I rest and sleep and relax. That's how, what works best for me. And then I study at a library or a coffee shop, just another place that's just not in my room because if I see my bed, I'm just gonna go to sleep. When you designate certain locations for certain activities, then your brain just naturally kind of gets in that zone. And then you can be a lot more focused and productive and build better habits by doing that. If you're that type of person who just doesn't want to go out to drive to go to the gym or to a library, just think of it as an investment. You're investing 15 minutes of your time to get one hour of great quality studying or a great quality workout. If you build habits and in being intentional about your workspace and the area where you work, then you can learn to be more focused and have better habits in the long run when it comes to studying, working out, or whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. The last problem that we tend to have is that we just lack discipline. That's me right there. Discipline is hard. It's naturally supposed to be hard. It's hard to be disciplined. And the only way you can develop discipline is by practicing and choosing. There are many benefits that come with practicing discipline. For example, if you're trying to learn how to play an instrument and if you practice, 30 minutes a day, sometimes you might not want to practice, but if you do practice 30 minutes a day, you become better and better over time. Some solutions to practicing discipline is to first change your mindset to be goal oriented. If you want that A, you gotta study every day. <laughs> Think about the goals and the rewards and that will help you to motivate yourself to be more disciplined. Another practical way that you can practice discipline is to have your goals physically written somewhere. I like to keep them on post-it notes on my board just because it helps me to really tangibly see the goals that I want to do and then I'll just rip it up once the goal is done. A lot of discipline is just mindset and self-control. And another way to have self-control with your phone is by using apps such as Moment and Flora. I've been really loving those apps because Moment kind of tracks the amount of time that I'm on my phone. And then Flora helps me to set limits on my phone so that I'm not on it. For example, if I want to study for an hour, I can put a phone limit on my phone for an hour so that I 
physically cannot open up any apps on my phone. I hope that this video didn't seem like a sort of checklist sort of thing because I don't want you to make a checklist. I think that was actually not the best way to build good habits. Building good habits starts from your mind and your purpose. So when you can master that, that is when you can develop good habits with reason and purpose instead of just making it a list of things to do. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you did like it, then please let me know by hitting that like button or leave a comment down below of something that you would like to hear more about. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay beautiful and God bless. I just wanna be a